I'd gently raise our net and bring it down to the water. Keep going and right up to the shore, to the shallow. All right, ready? And hammock and pick up the front, pick up the front. Do we see any fish? <laughs> no. So, is that bad? Is that good? It's nothing. It's data. Leisure has just always been a big part of my life, you know. I'm named Precious Jade. It's what Chalchiwiti means. All my family, we all are tied to nature and what life is. My name's Chalchiwiti Delphine, or otherwise known as Kat. Um, I'm 16, and I'm a rising junior from Arizona. I wanted to participate in the climate science program because our family, we do have discussions about climate change a lot. Like, and I wanted to do it because, you know, when you look around outside and like you hear about other tribes that like we're like so di displaced now and like all of our homelands, they're like gone, you know, unless it's like a reserve. Oh my god, <laughs> it's cool, right? Oh, yeah. they kind of, like, and I really wanted to come here so I could learn more because it's for you, you know, like what like we as a people can do. And it's something that I can like introduce to my family when I get home. Here we have 60 to 80 students that join our program and we break them into smaller learning cohorts so they have an ability to work in small groups on activities and also have smaller group or one-on-one -on -one discussions with experts. This program lasts for two weeks in Vermont um, and that just really is a wonderful opportunity for students to conduct field work and to learn from the environment directly. Um, we find so that being outdoors is the best laboratory and Vermont is the perfect place for that. Yeah, I wish this was a program that was around when I was in high school, uh, to be honest, because I think it is uh, just an impressive cohort each year. Uh, what's been impressive is just how they're translating that information to, oh, I can see that being something that my community could benefit from. One of the incredible things about this program is that we have students that come from all over the United States and the world. So this year we have students representing six different countries, and that diversity of backgrounds and perspectives makes these conversations and the lessons just so much more rich. I am Lena Pekar. I'm 18 years old and I am from Kabul, Afghanistan. Um, I came in the United States with my brother in 2021 uh, because uh, I applied to high school before I came here. So I was supposed to come in the U.S. as a student but because um, just like five days before my flight to America, Taliban took over Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, that was impossible for me to follow my dreams, especially just because being a girl is like a very struggle. But at the same time, uh, we are very, it's a very cultural country, so being an actor is like really really hard something that is really important for me is like find issues that matter and connect it with what i love so i was thinking connecting climate change with my acting career so one of my fewest idea were like even during the campus i was thinking making awareness um, documentary or like films so like connect them together especially now i mean these students have so much energy and they will drive that will drive their career right so they come here and it's just like a springboard for them to launch into college or whatever their career interests in the future um, are but i think coming them coming and getting a good foundation of both the science and the policy and um, everything else that this um, camp has to offer i think is really foundational Across the two weeks, uh, students learn from six different Columbia Climate School experts on a variety of climate topics. Everything from the science of climate change to thinking about how to build resilience in communities, how to communicate about climate change, policy, economics, and ultimately solutions. Uh, we also want to encourage students to learn how to debate with each other, how to do collaborative activities. And a lot of high school students don't have opportunities to engage in field work, so we have a lot of opportunities for them to go out into the field, collect samples, analyze these samples, so then they're kind of building their own scientific background and skill sets that will prepare them for college as well.
We also visit Lake George to learn from the Darren Freshwater Institute and they're doing research locally in Lake George but also globally around climate. The Columbia Climate School also goes back to my country because Afghanistan, where I am from, the air pollution is like really, really bad, especially during the winter, because um, electricity and like money is like a huge problem in my country because there's a lot of poverty. So we use a lot of um, woods and trees um, that are really uh, as a smoke and they're like really bad for the environment. I'm like very passionate about the water crisis, especially in Arizona right now in Mexico, because like parts of Mexico have recently had a state that they're literally like out of water in the city. And then to actually physically be here and like talk with people who are actually trying to come up with solutions and working in the field, it's like really cool. And to see the effects of like seeing how clear it is here. We're seeing the impacts of climate change right now, but we already know that some of the worst impacts are yet to come. So it's a global issue and it's an intergenerational issue. So we all need to be taking action now, but we also need to prepare them for lifelong career paths, no matter what sector, no matter what job they want to pursue, with the skills and the tools to drive solutions forward um, in whatever, whatever path they take. Whether it's a project, whether it's just awareness, um, there's a whole uh, kind of list of things that they're, that they're always impressing me with in terms of solutions that sometimes outpace what we're seeing at the day-to-day uh, -day level from some of our more uh, private and public sector partners. But I think it's really cool that they are actively trying to come up with solutions and stuff. Like, I think that's a really important part of like actually seeing something done. It gives me hope and gives me like inspiration. Yes, I do miss home, but um, I feel like there's nothing. I can't really go back to the past so by like working hard and maybe like bringing my family together. So I'm just uh, looking forward for a better future.